Hi guys, I've got a list of names and birth dates here in Excel and wouldn't it be nice to uh, be able to calculate the ages like really fast, like uh, input a, something like a function and that would calculate the age of a long list of birth dates, something like that. Well, that is feasible and doable and all you gotta do is build uh, your own uh, age calculation function in uh, Visual Basic, in VBA. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first of all, when you create a file, an Excel file, make sure it is an XLSM file, basically a macro enabled file, because the normal XLS uh, X files are not macro enabled. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is you go into it's called in, now I've got here a German version, but then the English version is called developer. And if you go in here, uh, and then in Visual Basic, you would get something like that. And here you would see the function. I've created a new module and in it the function. Now let's let's create our own new function. And what you go is insert a new module. And this is our new module. And in that, we're going to start uh, building our uh, age calculation function. Now what you can do is basically change the name of that, just press F4 and you have this window here and where you can just uh, write, let's call that calc age to differentiate it from the uh, function I, I built previously. So that's calc age, it's quite empty. Now, uh, the first thing you got to differentiate in, in Excel, you've got two types of VBA um, programs. You've got macros. macros do something yeah they for instance go into that cell delete the content of that cell go into the next cell delete the content of that cell that's one thing that's, the second thing you can do is create so-called udfs user defined functions uh, in excel just let me minimize the window in excel you have a lot of functions like if like and like uh, vlookup and so on and you can also create your own functions because if I go here, now never mind, there's a lot of German uh, uh, functions in here, but here you've got the menu. And if you go to the lowest point here, which is custom functions, you would see your own functions. And this is the function I did. Yeah. And you can call your own functions here. So basically, you can enhance the functionality of Excel. Uh, with your own user-defined functions. And one of them would be this age calculation, which then enables you just to, uh, you know, call it for this one guy and then just autofill it down and you'd have all these calculations. That's the beauty of having your own functions. So uh, then let's start building our own function. Well, first of all, when you start building your own function, you got to start with, <clears throat> with something like that, public function. And then we'll give it a name. Let's call it uh, uh, hcalc, okay? And then you open a parameter, and then the first parameter. What's the first parameter? Well, the first parameter would obviously be the birth date. So birth date, birth date, and that would be date. You've always got to specify what kind of, what type of data that is, date, and uh, there's another thing which I would like to insert, and you'll see why later. I would like to insert an optional second parameter. An optional means you don't have to input it, but if you input it, you get some results. Optional uh, result index. It doesn't matter what you call this. I'm just going to call it result index, and that's an integer. And equal to zero, meaning if you do not input this integer, then if you do not put input this result index, then that would be zero. And the function returns a variant. A variant is something like an array, like a list of, um, of, 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 of uh, values. You're gonna see why, because that makes, and I would advise you to use that for all your uh, VBA functions, because you would then have a certain uh, flexibility and you'd be able to analyze what your function is outputting in a, in a much better way. Variant. Right. Great. So now I've created my function and let's start, let's, let's go here and uh, do the outputs. So uh, 
Oops. Oh, I, you know, time is going to be like this. Output. So, and I'm going to create an array, which is uh, where all my outputs are going to be. And I'm going to give it a length of 25. I'm, I'm not going to use 25. I'm going to output 25 elements, but I'm going to give it a length just to have uh, that space. Right. So, uh, output array <clears throat> a zero would be just that that text which is called test all right and now the most important part of um, of uh, VBA functions the final parameter the final uh, thing what you've got to write in here is basically repeat the name of the function hcalc is equal to output array and then result index. So what's happening here is, and I've explained that in a previous video, I always advise people when you write your own function, do not have it just output a single value, have it output a list of values. Yeah. A list of in-between values for instance if we're now calculating the age here then it would be nice for the function to output what would be today's date what would be the birth date of today and so on so and that's why i would like i always like my functions to output a list of uh, uh, values and then i can pick and choose through result index the value that i wish for this instance and in this case if i do not input the result index then i would get that Otherwise, I would get further uh, uh, values, which we will insert later. We're going to see how that works, and you can see the advantage of using this method. Right. Now, let's see. Let's, let's call my function. And uh, here I will call uh, uh, hcalc. There you go, hcalc. And I'm just going to input that. And I should, go, I should get now test. So that is, uh, my function is working, right. So, and uh, let's get now on and build that function further. So the first thing now, if I'm gonna want to calculate the birth date, the first thing I've gotta do is, is get today's date. And not only today's date, but I need today's day, month, and year. So uh, let's get started, let's comment it first. Get today's Uh, get today's data. Oops. Right. Okay. So let's start to today day. That I would need. Well, uh, I need a function called. Well, let's 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 go back a bit. Let me put here another output array. Number one, you have a function in Excel VBA called date that gives you today's date. Let's let's call that date and save it. And let's go back to our Excel. And now let's change. Let's give a let's let's do something clever here. Let's have a list of indices. One and let's take them to ten or eleven. Doesn't matter. And let's go here, age, calc, uh, click on the birth date, fix that so it doesn't change when we autofill, and then click on the indices, which is age five, close paren. So uh, with the index zero, I get test. It's the same thing as, as if not inputting any index. And with index one, I get a number that's today's date. I've got to format that to a date, which is basically done very easily under format. Please don't mind the German menus. I mean, uh, this is pretty secondary, pretty much secondary. So I'm just going to format it as a date. And that's it. So, so I've got, I've got 
today's date, and you get that with the, uh, with the um, function date. Now, I need today's day. So if I go today, day means I need the function day of date. So date, oops, date would have today's date and I need the day of today. So today we have the 5th of April, so I should get five. And the same thing is with month. Today month is month of date. And today year is year of date. All right. So let's add these indices to reflect that. One, two, and three. Give them number two, number three, number four. And here that would be today, day, today, month, and today, year. Right, save, let's check it out. So let's drag that down. Now, obviously, because I auto filled it down, that these are all dates, I've got to convert these to numbers back to format, just format it to a number uh, without any decimal points, bang. And you see, I've got it right. So today's date is the fifth, the day would be five, month is four, and year is 20, uh, 2020, basically. Right, so until now, and you see now the beauty of it, if you use uh, if, you, if, your, if your function outputs more than one, one value, you can analyze the in-between values. Your end user doesn't have to input any index and he would just get, and then ultimately would get the age here instead of test. But with the indices, you as a, as a developer can always analyze what is the function outputting? What are those in-between values? So you can see, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. So you can here detect errors way better than just, than just as if your function is just outputting one value. All right. Okay, great. Now, uh, let's go back to VBA. Now, this, we're going to do the same thing with the birth date. Right. Get birth. Oh, did I just delete it too much. Get birth dates data. And then we would have here birth date and just let me copy that and uh, let me see here as well as well and as well so and then we can copy that and have some more outputs and we have here uh, five, six, and seven. And we just take, uh, just copy that as well. And we should then right save it. Let's go back. Let's drag it down with three further. So we got now the birth date details, which is 12 here, 12 July, 1985. Right, so we got all the data we need right now. So now we're just basically a matter of some ifs and arithmetic. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with an if. If, now, if the person's birth, if the month of, this person's birthday is smaller than today's month, then obviously this person is gotten older this year. So if birth date, birth date month is smaller than today month, then, then what? Well, then age is gonna be today year which is today's year, minus birth day year, 
Okay? So we have now April. If somebody's born in March, that's it. This person's gotten older. If this person was born in, let's say, 2000, and we have now 2020, he'd be 20 years old. Okay, great. Now, else if, what if today's month is equal to, uh, what if birth month is, is equal to today's month? Because this is sort of a boundary condition, birth, date, month. is equal to uh, today month well then well then it depends if birth date day is smaller or equal to today day then well, that means if you, if today we have the 5th of April. If you were born on the 5th of April or before, then you've gotten older this year. So it's basically then the same formula as above. Age is equal to today, today, year, minus birth, date, year. Okay, that's pretty easy. Otherwise, otherwise, well, otherwise, you are born in April, but beyond the fifth. So you're still, you, you have still not gotten older this year. You're still the age of last year. So, which means, it, well, let's, let, let me just copy that. And it will be minus one. Okay? Because then, so basically, if you're, if we have now the fifth of April, if you're born on the 5th or before in the month of April, well, then you've gotten older this year. Otherwise, you have not gotten older. So basically, you're still the age of last year. Okay, so, so now we've covered everybody in the past until today, and the rest, well, they're still the age of last year. And what I don't have to forget is always after each if, you gotta end if it, because otherwise VBA will complain. Right, and that's basically it. So now, all I've gotta do now with array zero, I can just have here age instead of test, and my function is done. And if I go back to the uh, spreadsheet, uh, just click here and return. So I've got the age now, and why am I getting a different age here? And I've got like, I'm, I've got some error here with these guys because this guy cannot be 32. So we've got some mistake here. Let me see where the error is. Oh, I got my mistake. I here I have birth date instead of birth date. That's, that's the cause. And it should be an all right. Let's save that. And let's go back to the spreadsheet and return. Yeah, now we got it right. So you see one small error. And now we've got exactly the same ages as before. So you see now that's how you calculate ages. And now you have your own function. Basically in this sheet, I've got like two functions, the one I done previously and this one. And they both function the same way. And the beauty of it is so that a normal user would just input, uh, you know, the, just a the birth date and you would get the age. However, if you insert any index, then you would get uh, further details. For instance, in index four, I would then get the today's year. Whereas if I index uh, seven, I would then have uh, the birth year and so on. So you can, this function uh, delivers multiple outputs, which could be useful to the user. And if he doesn't input any index, then he would just get the age. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to upload it to GitHub so you can always download the sheet and play around with it. And, you know, just copy. You can even copy the function and insert all your Excels and basically use it from here on. Uh, if you have any feedback or comments to all of this, just feel free to comment below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.